Hello. Ready when you are. Andy, you've been uh, working with Wanya Morris there. Just, you know, what are the conversations like as you review film, especially after a game like last week, you try to just make sure he improves and gets confidence in the ability to play at his position? Um, you know, we keep it pretty simple in the room uh, and really break it down. So uh, when I, I'll give him an overall impression of the game, certainly, but mostly as we're going through the tape, each play will point out, hey, this is what you did well. And on a play, well, hey, what would you like to do differently here? Or uh, if we get, you know, get stuck there, then of course I'm going to say, well, remember what we drilled last week, we want to work on this. So it's kind of just play by play by play. And then we get a general impression. How does he respond? I mean, I know it's, it's tough. Like when you get a flag on you, everyone's looking at you. You got a few flags last week. How's he responded this week and throughout the game last week? Oh, he, he's been a pro. He's responded very well. He takes coaching well, uh, cares about his craft, works at it every day. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Andy, when you have college players come in probably over the past decade, is there kind of a common theme about what you're trying to fix? Maybe bad habit wise so they can succeed in the NFL? No, I, I don't think I would say there's a common theme. Uh, I think every guy's different. Uh, if there was a common theme, I would say that offensive line play is um, difficult. Um, and some guys are able to make it look easy. The vast majority of guys, it's, uh, it takes time. I know as a young player, I didn't feel like I became uh, – uh, as good as, as I wanted to be. I never became as good as I wanted to be, but it took me six, seven years before I really felt like I was playing at a, uh, a, a high level. And hey, we don't often have six or seven years in this, uh, especially in this day and age, or certainly in this profession, um, but it, it takes time to develop uh, those skills. Coach, we're about halfway through the year. Um, when it comes to Kingsley, he had to go down early. Just how has he responded and then behind the scenes and at practice, how have you seen him grow uh, as the weeks have carried along? Yep, yeah. uh, I've been pleased with uh, Kingsley. I mean, he's a, he's been a good worker. He's a young player and he's got tons of things to improve upon. Um, but in terms of how he's responded, I mean, he's a positive guy in our room, uh, takes coaching well. Um, I, th I feel like he works hard every day. And so I've been pleased with that. And, and I've been seeing some improvement. Um, and so, uh, you know, we, We'll keep at it every day, and, and uh, both he and Wanya, I mean, they're young players that are ascending, and they will push, e push each other. The last couple of weeks, um, Jawan's had a couple of really, really clean games and had obviously a big game against Mass Crosby. What have you kind of seen with him of late that's maybe been a little bit different than before the bye week? Um, well, you know, if we just went to this most recent game, I thought that was one of his better uh, finish uh, days, uh, probably, you know, in many ways his best game as a chief because, as you say, he was uh, clean in terms of penalties. But uh, the thing I was most impressed about besides doing a nice job against an elite pass rusher, an elite football player, was uh, his compete to finish uh, both run and pass. Two more. All right, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.